tau overflows man is attracted to tantra but failed to understand its essence according to tantra the word sex is the meeting or the union of opposite forces wherever two opposite forces or energies are dissolving into one another know this as sexual phenomenon when energies dissolve into one another at physical plane new life comes into existence when such union reaches the plane of emotions love blossoms when such dissolution of opposite forces reaches the energy layer light evolves in such process when inner and outer dissolve into one another awakening is born know this as buddhahood and how to make your inner opposites meet is the whole purpose of meditation whole purpose of a spiritual understanding so all 112 techniques given by shiva are deeply sexual in nature there cannot be anything else because it is the union of the opposite forces there is no possibility but try to understand the wideness of the term sex sex indeed is the way of life manifesting in myriad ways all around you really no meditation meditative technique can be non sexual but you have to understand the wideness of the world if you do not understand you will be confused and misunderstanding will follow tantra is so deep that man has missed its essence sex is not just the interaction between genitals instead its approach is of a broad spectrum with your understanding you cannot understand sex sex is much more than what you have known that is why tantra is grossly misunderstood so whenever tantra says sex energy it means alan white the life force or prana vayu prana means life vayu means air they are synonyms whatsoever we call sex is just one dimension of life energy there are other dimensions and really it should be so you see a seed is sprouting wherever flowers are blossoming on a tree the birds are chirping the whole phenomenon is sexual it is life manifesting itself in myriad ways life has many dimensions these must be rooted in your culture and inner life both spiritual and cultural well-being is very important part of overall human development once you are spiritually and culturally rooted you will start respecting and appreciating your country and everyone and everything around you economic social and technological development and all other welfare schemes go hand in hand with cultural revival and spiritual development this plays an important role in various aspects of life and your life starts blossoming as if 
season of spring has come when the <coughs> when the bird is singing it is a sexual call an invitation when flower is attracting butterflies and bees it is an invitation because bees and butterflies will carry the seed of reproduction the stars are moving in space no one has yet worked on it but it is one of the oldest tantra concepts that there are male planets and female planets otherwise there would be no movement it must be so because the polarity is needed the opposite is needed to create magnetism to create attraction planets must be male and female everything must be divided into these two polarities male and female and life is a rhythm between these two opposites life is a rhythm between these two opposites repulsion and attraction coming nearer and going far these are the rhythms according to tantra the word sex is the meeting or union of opposite forces it is a sexual phenomenon and how to make your inner opposites meet is the whole purpose of meditation so all 112 techniques given by shiva are deeply sexual in nature there cannot be anything else there is no possibility but try to understand the wideness of the term sex and with that understanding life will attain a new meaning ejaculation is not orgasm orgasm is very different phenomenon so man can deceive himself easily because he can feel ejaculation so he thinks he has an orgasm that is not so ejaculation is a very local phenomenon just the triggering of a physical mechanism a release a relief and nothing more orgasm is ecstasy orgasm is getting into timelessness orgasm is when your whole body vibrates with some unknown energy that you have never come across orgasm is when you are very close to god the word the word orgasm comes from the word orgia it was a religious ceremony a pagan ceremony when people became ecstatic so ecstatic that their whole body was full of divine energy and they were bursting with energy and they were lost in that energy that was called orgia it was a religious pagan ceremony it was something like tantra it was dinosian the word orgasm comes from that ceremony men also rarely feel it when your whole body throbs not only your sexual organ but your whole body throbs from toe to head you become a sexual orgasm you become a sexual organ that is the symbol of shiva you must have seen in india shiv ling you may sometimes be wandering where are the eyes and where are the nose and where is the mouth and where are the legs what kind of image is this this is symbol of orgasm 
when whole body turns into a sexual orgasm from eyes, mouth, body, mind, all disappear into sexuality, into sensuality, into a kind of immense sensitivity that is the meaning of the word shivling. Orgasm has become impossible because you cannot go totally with the flow and with orgasm becoming impossible a thousand and one diseases have become prevalent in man. William Reich is right that if we can bring orgasm back to humanity almost 90% of mental diseases will immediately disappear like dew drops in the morning when sun has come. 90% of mental diseases exist because man has forgotten how to re rejuvenate with God, how to fall into divine energy and come back again resurrected. Those blocked energies are creating problems. Enough for now.